let me get situated so in today's video i am going to be basically reviewing these products that i have been using i've been using them for at least three months almost four so yeah let's get right into it these are the clean beauty products that you can purchase from Walmart. The clean beauty rose hip jelly face cleanser which is awesome i love this stuff I have this clean beauty coconut water hibiscus face wipes which these are really good for like taking off your makeup um i've been using the cooling eggplant egg balm so yes i also have a clean face bar which i'll switch between using this and the clean face bar i really love this how it feels on my face it's just the texture it really does feel like jelly not like thick jelly but it's just like like petroleum jelly like that kind of texture and just on your face and then you wash it off and you just it feels so good so yes i've been using this i use this every day this or the face bar which is in the shower i don't want to take that out because it looks really gross so yes um i'll switch between these two um this is my face i'm gonna get kind of close so you guys can see it um i have no shame i really don't care so um i have combination skin and especially in my t-zone which most people you know have that for the most part my skin is really good <clears throat> and i feel like as a face cleanser um this overall it does work this is cruelty free and vegan super affordable i think it works really well um, i'm all for stuff products that do not test on animals so yeah i've been really enjoying this um these clean beauty wipes these are awesome so excuse me this is my second pack and I've tried Neutrogena, I've tried um, Aveeno. This is one brand I used to use all the time, but my skin would get very irritated by it. Um, I would wipe my face, like my, I would wipe my makeup off, and I would just feel a burning sensation, and it just, it, I didn't like it. And when I rubbed it off on my eyes, it irritated my eyes. And sometimes I would even get a rash. From the Neutrogena ones, I would always get a rash. And then the other brand that I used, um, it would just burn really bad and it irritated my eyes so but with these I have not um, had that issue so definitely recommend these it says it's formulated without parabens without synthetic fragrances and dyes phthalates <laughs> petroleum derived ingredients so and this one is also cruelty free and vegan which is awesome it's it also says it's hydrating biodegradable i really do love these these are awesome i don't wear makeup a lot but when i do um i use this to take it off the only bad thing about these is that i found that it doesn't take it all off immediately so like say i um take it off with the wipe and then i take a shower wash my face in the shower and i'll have to use another wipe just to make sure i really get that whereas with like other wipes that i feel have more harsh chemicals you can just take off your makeup and you're good to go but with these, you really do need to wash your face still, so, which is good. I mean, you probably should unclog those pores from all the foundation and all the stuff you put in your skin, so, but still. Other than that, no complaints. 10 out of 10 recommend these. Same thing, 10 out, you know what, 9 out of 10 because it doesn't get it off completely, but for quality, price, like cost and everything, really love these. And for it being sensitive to my skin, like, it's awesome. And then this 10 out of 10 recommend that. The Cooling Eggplant Eye Balm. So I have um, naturally really poofy under eye bags. Um, my eye type, I think it's called protruding eyes. So yeah, um, I'm always gonna have some type of bags or like poofage <laughs> of my eyes because that's just my eye shape. But this does help with making it not as uh, noticeable, I have found. The only thing with this uh, is whenever I put it in, so you just take this off and then you'll, you know, bring it up. And it's like chapstick for your eyes, basically. And then the only thing is I'll rub it in with my finger to make sure I really get it, you know, deep in my skin. Um, but I do have oily skin when it comes to my T-zone. So here, like here, and yeah, you know what I mean, in my T-zone. But, um, so when I do use this, uh, I have found that it will make my eye, I will get oily right here, especially just because throughout the day it like dries and it just makes my skin oily. So it does help with eye bags, um, but when it comes to oily blottiness, so if you're just wearing this and you're not wearing foundation or anything, I think that this can make your skin 
more oily more noticeably so yes that's the one thing i don't like about this is it'll make my skin really oily if i do decide to put it on but other than that you know i do think it works and again vegan cruelty free so and the cost for all these products is you know for being cruelty free and vegan you know that i think they're really good quality so i definitely recommend this brand um for face cleansers before i use this i was using a burt's bee the foaming face cleanser and I love that stuff. Um, it's just, you know, I think it's like $10. I'm not sure how much this one was because, like I said, my fiance got it for me for Christmas. But um, I definitely recommend this brand. I really think you should check it out. It's at Walmart. Um, I have been using all of these products and loving it completely. And, yeah, I think that it hasn't really irritated my skin much. My skin's usually, like, pretty good except when I'm on my period. So, um, it didn't really change anything for me because... I usually do have like not terrible skin but um, yeah I definitely recommend these and quality for price and for being vegan and cruelty free they're really awesome so um, if you thought this video oh and also because I don't have a moisturizer with these and if you're curious as to what moisturizer I use I still use my Burt's Bees um, daily moisturizing cream for sensitive skin and it's 98.9% .9 natural the only thing was I think this was like 10 or 12 dollars and it's pretty small so that was kind of expensive I do really like this and it has lasted me a little bit at least I think at least a month and a half or two um but I just do two little pumps and then rub it on my face but so I, I did recently go to Trader Joe's um and I bought this Trader Joe's nourish nourish oil free antioxidant facial moisturizer and since it's suitable for all skin types dermatologist formulated fragrance free no parabens so and this this huge thing compared to this this was like six or seven dollars and this is like 10 or 12 i can't remember but so i haven't tried this yet if you guys are interested in um how this combines with these products i can do an update in a couple months but yeah just let me know what you guys want to see um I'm new to like showing, reviewing products about my skin. I'm gonna be doing some for my hair because my hair is naturally wavy. And um, this, I do have a little bit of product in my I hair. will be doing some products, you know, reviewing like when I change my uh, shampoo and conditioner to more natural products. I just wanna see like what my hair will look like, you know, how much curlier, curlier, wavy, really, it'll be. So if you're interested in that and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new and you stumbled on this video. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, um, still dealing with the coronavirus. We all are um, still social distancing. I know it's a hard time for everybody, but I decided to you know just film this, this video because I've been wanting to for a while. And I figured why not have a little bit of a lighthearted topic to film a video on and just to kind of inform people on this brand so yeah um thanks for watching